Since 2004, I have produced three full-length bodybuilding documentaries and a half dozen contest videos. I'm Mike Pulsanella, and during that time I've seen my fair share of eccentric bodybuilders. One kind of character that keeps on popping up with disturbing regularity is the strange phenomenon of the clueless competitor. The clueless competitor is the bodybuilder who seems to have not yet learned that you must lift weights before you decide to enter a bodybuilding competition. Without any visible evidence of physical development, they take the stage with the rest of the bodybuilders, flubbing mandatory poses and winging their way through bizarre routines. Is it a goof? Are these guys serious? Or seriously disturbed? I met one such example at a recent contest while I was shooting some backstage footage. His name is Steve, and the crowd seemed to love him. Or do they? Clueless competitors are often egged on by the crowd. Steve clearly had no concept of the prerequisites of a bodybuilding contest. He hadn't shaved, had no tan, and frankly, no muscles. When I asked him to tell me why he was in the contest, I began to realize that Steve may not be completely in touch with reality. Actually, the secret is I'm a leader, not a follower. Right. Meaning that no one can really tell you what's good about except yourself. And, and no one knows your diet and your training routine better than yourself. Right. But I try to experiment with my body, and also, that if I train more than time of the day, I'm overtraining right. at that point. I'm hurting myself. And I'm burning myself out. But you gotta understand one thing what's really going on in the sport itself. Bodybuilding is not bodybuilding. Bodybuilding is a science in itself. It's a whole big thing with testosterone. Throughout the day, Steve recited this same speech to anyone stunned enough to listen. Good. I don't like shocking my body either way. I think that's one of the work you do in a sport, is not shocking your body. I, th I think it's so dangerous. I think it's very dangerous. Especially the girls, they're worried they die down and lose their weight. That's not going to do it. few minutes. But also, I die every single day of the year. Oh, you never go off your diet? I never go off my diet. His rant about diet and exercise soon turned into a critique of my physique. The thing about it is that, see, I have an MA in sociology, but I've been through grad so I'm not, a, oh, I'm not, so I'm really not the average person. I'm a very well-read person on the sport. I can look at anyone's body, and I know what's wrong with their body already. You know what's wrong with it? And they, and they died already. Your body, your body said you got a protein deficiency, and you take all kinds of carbohydrates, and you don't, you, you don't have a balanced diet. You're probably not trained hard enough either. Your body, you probably, I would guess you probably have a protein deficiency. Really? Yeah. I can, I can tell by your face. Oh, okay. I can tell by your face. I can tell by your neck bone. Mm -hmm. I can tell by your hips. And I can tell by your body type. Okay. You have a, you should, your body is lean, but you, you're carrying too much weight on the side of your hips. So you're, you're anthropomorphic and you have a body type at the same time too. So I should. Try to eat more protein and less your, carbohydrates. Your body, how old are you? 47. You're, you're not training right. You do your, you do, your diet is totally off. Steve was knowledgeable, it seemed, but clearly hadn't applied the knowledge to himself or had deluded himself into thinking he had. So why are competitors like this allowed to take the stage with others who have done the work required? Is there any other sport that would allow unqualified athletes to compete? Can you imagine someone like Steve being allowed to compete in a track and field competition, for instance? Shouldn't there be some minimum requirements for entering a bodybuilding contest? Some sort of pre-pre-judging? On the other hand, the purpose of contests at the local level is to begin to weed out the wheat from the chaff in order to allow only the best competitors a chance to move on to the national level. Introducing restrictions at this point doesn't make much sense. But is allowing competitors like this on stage good for bodybuilding? Does any other sport allow itself to be mocked in this way? Do we really want to encourage mentally clouded people to compete in a sport for which they are not prepared? 
But taking the other side once again, it would be impossible to enforce standards at what is supposed to be the entry level of bodybuilding. It's an ethical dilemma with no easy solution. As you get older, you know, you would have people don't realize, for example, as you get older, for example, as you get older, for example, for, for example, for example, that, for example, that in a lot of those magazines, for example, and you also, very seriously, you have, you have, you have, your skin is too dry, you have, you have oil deficiency. Okay. I'm good, huh? You're very good. How can you tell? How can, how can you tell? Where, where, where I'm talking, you can tell me. I'm a very cyber person. For example, for example, I, I have my unique system that works for my body and nobody else. But listen to this, watch this, look at this. Look at that. Can you show my abs? Can you show my abs real fast? Let me see. Let's get an abs shot. Two, 52 years old, ready? I'm ready. 52, huh? Save, save some for the stage. One or two. One or two. And I'm, I'm, I'm a, you Do you know anybody who's ever known me? Whoever came asking for a bunch of a trained diet, all kind of came back and thanked me. Well, good luck tonight, Al. If you want to call me, if you want to... Alright, right, thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. But listen, I, I only mean well. I know. And, and I'm being sincere. I agree. I know. I understand. Thanks. I appreciate it. Hope you know I only mean well. Truth is, Steve does mean well. And he seems to be having a very good time. But still, I can't help but think that something about this just doesn't feel right.